Ara fo ene de son o ton fo nyanko pang asum jwey en kamu nina ye de ura di ase. Pempen soa o ton fo nyanko pang e di abedju ase da a ye ye en kamfo en in ton tom en ye de mano halleluya. Bible si ebe se ni dengini ni ebe kan ni seng e ura de e wa ya fa. Ena ena oni ebe di ase ye wa den sha we say if the Lord be for us. Who can be against us? Hallelujah. Ara for your bumpire. Adumu ni na ni anko pango yada wase. Ona wuke bum ena wushensua ijina. Ano pei e yumire yi e yye yin so. Ode yan kwa chayeng. Mereti ya yeti ya wasemi weni madom weni mshesi ya weni mbambo entoye nso. Mribiye uye peya ya di aseda ama huti ya da wase. Adomo ninti. Amen. Ene thimu ni se de resorted to deliberate hypocrisy. De resorted to deliberate hypocrisy. Jude 12 to 16. Jude ayye chapter bako pe. The 12 to 16, it says, Jude 1, Jude, Jude 12 to 16. We say, these people are blemishes at your love face, eating with you without the slightest gum. Shepherds who feed only themselves, they are clouds without rain, blown along by the wind, without fruit and uprooted twice there. They are wild waves of the sea, foaming up their shame, wandering stars, for whom blackest darkest has been reserved forever. This thing says, these people are grumblers and fault finders. They follow their own evil desires. They boast about themselves and flatter others for their own advantage. Wanganoka akukunsem. A kunkonsem. And fasuo inti mi. Fasuo inti. Wade. Wade fe de fe nipa. Na en fasuo inti. Ni obenya inti. Wade fe de fe nipa. Esane ni obenya. Arafo ene asamu ne mo du. Asamu ne mo du. Ose ye ni mo ye. En ye ni fo. Arafo. The people resorted to deliberate hypocrisy. Bero mati nkwa jie nsem. Wamati asame edi nkwa jie bebele wong. Asame ebemo omu nyame suma kwa fedye. Nada sem. Omu dani wamo chi. Etko tiye. Nada sem. Nyacho mu sema. Enfa inshira. Emre wong. Orofo. Ene uradi tu yenfo. Se ya brabo besi ya. Ebe si mini wu ya. Yen kri ye tetre ma enfi bwane hon. Yen kri ye hon enfi bwane hon. O se, wame do mo tetre ma eka. A konkon sem. Ya fe defen sem. Nan so mo mo diye. O nini obe nye enti. Selfish interest. Greed. Bible se godliness with contentment is a great gain. Nyame som pa a pinye wum. E ya di ebe bre. Orofo e wuti eme. E ne nyumere yim yim pa ye ma hon. Na me shere o domu nyanko ponche. O be buwa ye. Na yama ya bura ba ye se enok. The same verse. The same within 12 and 16. If we read verse 40. Se enok the servant from Adam. Prophesy about them. See the Lord is coming with thousands upon thousands of his holy ones. To judge everyone. And to convict all of them of all the ungodly art they have committed in their ungodliness. And of all the defiant words ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Eti enoma ehonte, enoma emfata, e inomuhuna enok, and so a oto adam, so e songe she and kom de to hose she, e urade ni na hote fo, mpimpim reba, abibu, Wong yina aten. Na wabu wongu. E mumu yefu yina aten. Wonga e mumu yadie. A waye yina. Ni wonga nsem a eye den. Ni bwani yefu. Kantia 
nyina nyankopon ebebu aten odum tufo no abusuafo nyankopon ebebu aten aten obebu no ujibe jina semini uye jina beye ete sen let us live a holy life o say let us live be my dear friends remember that what the apostles of our lord and jesus christ foretold they told us something nyami nchibone nyami echibone nyami eni echibone nyami ompebone that you and I will not resort to deliberate hypocrisy, but will live a precious life. Abraba Ihem. That we live a life that will please our Maker, a life that will be a blessing to our neighbors, a life that will be a blessing to our family members, to the glory of God. Don't forget the theme is they resorted. May you never resort to deliberate hypocrisy. Live like Henoch, who gave him life, his life to Jesus, who was righteous, whom the Lord called into eternity, whom the Lord just took him. Why? Because he was holy. He preserved his life. He gave his life to God's work. May God bless us and keep you. May the Holy Ghost help us. That whatever we do, we will render an account. There will be a day of reckoning. E will be a day of reckoning. May the blessings of God be with you. May the power of God rest over your life. And may we live in a way that the Holy Spirit will move mightily in our lives. I'm Reverend Foster Ampo for Minister of Presbyterian Church of Ghana. Ministry of Revival and Resurrection Congregations. Peace and life. Bye-bye.